Hey guys, Lucky Yellow here, and today I am going to start a series where I will show you ways to prepare for going to a summer camp. Now, um, many people, many teenagers and kids are about to go off to some summer camp of s some sort, usually in the month of June, uh, and rare cases in July. Um, so, uh, while every summer camp is different, some getting prepared, uh, for camp is most usually the same. So, this first episode will be all about the packing list. So, the packing list is what you pack in your bag. Now, as far as the bag goes, um, you only need a bag big enough for usually about a week worth, because most summer camps are about a week long. But, uh, always make sure that you know for a fact how long your summer camp is so you can pack accordingly. But this series will be based more solely on one week summer camps. Um, but you can easily expect, um, easily use this knowledge for two to three week camps as well if there are, you know, ones that are that three weeks long. But, um, so, um, most of the organizations that want run summer camps will usually give you a packing list. Um, but if not, um, easy thing to do is just think of what you would logically need to take. Um, just take out a piece of paper now and write down packing list. I'll wait. Oh, oh uh, you need help? Okay. Just... So, um, for normal camps, and there are all, all sorts of different camps, but uh, you should bring uh, clothes. Now, obviously. <laughs> uh, so, you have to make sure you have uh, clothes appropriate for what you're doing, and uh, so, and make sure you have the days that you are there. Um, and then, swimsuit for going swimming. Uh, toiletries, uh, enough for every day of the week, which, you know, just get a, a, either two, like, traveling size shampoos or a normal size shampoo, normal size conditioner, body wash, uh, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, and, uh, hand soap. Just, uh, don't make any jokes about the soap. <laughs> uh, towels, you know, you need a towel to dry off after you take a shower, you need a towel out towel after you dry off of, uh, from swimming, and, you know, just in case it rains, you should probably have an extra one to dry off when you're back in your cabin or whatnot after it rains, if you can. Um, and then, as far as bedding goes, this is different. It depends on where you go as to what they allow, but some camps, they'll be like, you can bring, like, a sleeping bag or a blanket. Uh, mo most definitely always bring a pillow because they don't usually provide pillows at s summer camps. And then, uh, most beds at summer camps are twin size beds. Um, yeah, you know, it's just a one person bed. And it, as, but as I said, it depends on the camp. Uh, also, you want to have tennis shoes. Um, um, but, uh, I'm sure a lot of camps, uh, if it's not like a 100% outdoor all the time camp, probably are allowed open-toed shoes, but always ask before you assume. Oh, uh, and shower shoes, if you're one of those weird people that, um, even though if you're in a, uh, a camp where it's, like, a lot of indoor stuff, you can wear shower shoes, but, uh, if you're in, like, a cabin or, uh, like a Boy Scout type camp, then shower shoes are necessary if you're, like, doing outdoor stuff because, you know, uh, especially at scout camps, because snakes can, uh, tend to get into the showers. Um, not that shower shoes are going to really help with that, but <laughs> it's better than nothing. Uh, and then, of course, if you take any medication, you should hand it over to your leaders. Um, and it would be, uh, unless you were a kid, it would be your responsibility to notify the leader when you have to take your meds. Um, and then the last one is a bit more of an optional thing, but let's be honest, everyone will do this, is a cell phone. 
um, which, you know, people would already do without even being asked of it. But at most camps, depending on what it is, leaders will probably take it up. Um, so yeah, that is just today's video is on the packing list. Hope you guys found this, uh, informational. And, uh, yeah. Um, in tomorrow's video, it'll be on, uh, clothes for camp. So, so. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like button in, if you enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Right, yeah. I'm gonna say that it feels right.